Hi, let us understand how to create a pod with multiple containers. For demo purpose, let's use this specific YAML file. Here I am going to have the container specification as two containers. One container with the name container1 where it will be using the Nginx image and the container port where it will be exposing its uh, output through the port 80. And the next container, it will be in the name container2 and that will be using the Alpine and it will be executing this specific command in the quiet mode and it will not display any output. Basically, it's going to keep accessing the local host using wget. So what it will do, one pod will get created. Within the pod, there will be two containers. One container will be of type engines and it will be exposing the port 80 and the another image will be of type alpine where within the command prompt it will keep executing wget and access the localhost localhost port 80 so it will keep pinging the port 80 and engine server will be giving the index page as the response in the port 80 the YAML file is also added as a part of the GitHub repository within Smack Academy parts and I do have the file over here. So you can download and start using it directly. Now I am going to apply this specific file using kubectl apply. kubectl apply dash f multi container pod dot YAML file. So the pod will get created. Here we can check it's going to create two containers as of now. None of the containers are created. It's in the process of creating it. Now the pods are in the running state. Here itself we can identify it's having two containers. Both the containers are in the running state. We can get more details about the pods using the command kubectl. Describe pod and then the name of the pod multi container. Here I should have the entire details about the pod this is the name of the pod and the ip address of the pod here i do have two containers one container with the name container one and this is the container id and that is having the image engines and it is in the running state the second container with the name container dash two and that is using the alpine as the image and these are all the events how and when the container was started what are all the events happen while creating the container by this way we can have multiple containers as well most of the time we will be having an additional container as a sidecar or ambassador or adapter where along with the main container there will be one additional container which will be doing some additional tasks like gathering logs or sending some metrics to the centralized location